Normally I just jump right into these update videos, but a new change happened where now the change logs are just put into Discord. And um, basically it's a quick question. Is it worth still doing these videos? Like, what is the main purpose of everyone watching these? Is it because you don't want to open the game and look at the change log or because you just want to still visually see the change log? Either way, I'm still doing this one because it just came out. Uh, I'll decide next week what's happening. But anyway, chemistry bags are now a new item in the game. They hold items such as pills, pill canisters, bottles, and syringes. And as you can guess by the name, since they're called a chemistry bag, they actually are a belt item, which is rather interesting. And they have 45 units of storage, and they store everything a chemist would possibly need. And chemists start with them on round start. Just like food, you can now alt-click drinks to drink from them. Except, there we go. I was just ever so slightly too far away. And uh, yeah, do a different bug. You can uh, drink them way too fast, but different problem, different patch. When you now hug entities such as Ian or other people, you no longer automatically open the strip menu. Uh, this is a bug that lasted a little like over a week, so it's the only reason I'm including it. Uh, it wasn't like a bug that was introduced within the week and then um, came out after. Like almost all the change logs this week were fixing bugs that were implemented by like engine changes but yeah you can uh, pet animals and hug people without getting a ui thrown in your face apcs are given a more clear ui to show their actual power drain like this one if the external power none means that the medium voltage wire is snipped so nothing's powering it or it just means that the power is dead either way the ui was changed on the apcs to give you a much more clear indication of what's going wrong with it and why it isn't charging bullet impulses are nerfed in space and what that means is that Guns no longer throw you through space uh, nearly as effectively as they did. To the point now, it's almost more of just a uh, visual. Hey, I'm going to float this way a tiny bit. And even still, you can see the momentum just completely died. So, uh, yeah, no more free rides through space anymore with uh, guns and lasers and the uh, kinetic, protokinetic accelerator. Heaters and freezers can now be rotated by simply just right-clicking them and rotating them. They have to be unanchored. And what actually rotates is it's just the way the pipe connects. Uh, it's a really nice quality of life for Atmos, so now not every single construction needs to be southward facing. Some things that weren't in the change log, for example, uh, Bagel Station got a new parallax and uh, depicts just a planet with a moon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a better description of it, but it looks really cool. Box Station got a new emergency shuttle that is shaped, well, mostly like a box. Uh, it is the new emergency shuttle, and uh, it better compensates the players' count. It's a little bit safer, a little bit harder to completely bomb it. And uh, even has a little area for prisoners, and I don't know, it just looks really nice. And the Nuki ship got this cool-looking logo. Um, it is like a three-headed serpent. I'm not sure if... I'm actually not sure if it's, like, based off certain, like, lore of this syndicate or the new keys in general but either way it's a cool looking logo gives the ship a little bit more flair well anyways uh light week for content almost all that was bug fixes or change or just tweaks the apc is uh the chem peg and the apc were basically the only like actual um not actual just like the forward facing changes uh like i was saying earlier uh, a lot of things were engine upgrades like uh the do afters it got a uh, refractor, and that broke a lot of things. So, as you can see here, yesterday was literally all fixes to fix that uh, engine change. I, I'm, I'm saying the word engine change. I don't know if it's actually an engine change. I don't have a better word for it, though. It's not gameplay related. It's just changing stuff in the back end. Anyway, uh, there's also other things that are really useful for um, mappers and stuff in here, like uh, how ambient sounds longer play for pause entities. Uh, that's really good for mappers with emergency lights because they would just, for some reason, make noise. But um, yeah, I encourage you to read through the change logs. Uh, apparently, as you can see from the top one, uh, all the change logs are now going to be in Discord anyway. So, like I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these. I guess it's up to. I, I I just need some feedback, really, is all I'm saying. And um, yeah, I encourage you to read through all the change logs. Thank all of our contributors and maintainers like normal. And that is it for now. Thank you for watching.